In the UK, the January is a thing. Since 2014, the UK-based group has asked people to pledge to eat a vegan diet for the month of January. In 2018, 170,000 people took the pledge. This year, the number has grown to over 400,000. KFC said it sold 1 million vegan burgers in the first month when they were on sale, while the food delivery service Deliveroo said orders of vegan dishes had increased by 78 percent compared with the previous year. pret manger launched its first vegan croissant in stores in early January and is now selling twice as many a day as the non-vegan jam croissant. At Tesco, sales of Hellman's vegan mayonnaise soared nearly 400 percent during January, while Marks and Spencer said its vegan chicken, Kiev's, sold at a rate of four every minute since going on sale in early January. So while we cannot give all the credit to the vegan UARI campaign for these increases in sales, what we should learn is that supermarkets and their grocer aunts have unique opportunities to create their own campaigns. Meatless Monday has been around since 2003 and has been very effective. Campaigns like Dry January and Sober Spring are also popping up and have an enormous millennial following and is changing alcohol consumption and offerings in the stores.